Beetlejuice was already on the edge of exploding, but new data reveals the blast could happen sooner, be brighter, and more violent than we ever imagined. In 2019, Beetlejuice made headlines with its mysterious great dimming, and scientists theorized that it might be approaching the supernova explosion phase. By 2023, observations revealed that a massive dust cloud ejected by Beetlejuice caused the dimming. Then, in 2025, we finally laid eyes on the stellar companion that orbits Betelgeuse, and its time, too, is limited. In recent years, several papers proposed that a small, close binary companion might be responsible for Betelgeuse's periodic dimming, predicting that the best time to observe this object would be in December 2024. However, spotting a smaller, fainter object next to the massive and bright Betelgeuse proved difficult. That's when Steve Howell, a scientist at NASA's Research Center, and a team of astrophysicists brought in a game-changer, Alapeak, a speckle imager mounted on the Gemini North Telescope. What makes it unique is its speckle imaging capability, a technique using very short exposure times to counteract atmospheric distortions. This allowed high-resolution imaging which, combined with Gemini North's 8.1-meter mirror, enabled the first-ever direct detection of Betelgeuse's faint companion. The glowing orange orb was Betelgeuse itself, and the faint blue streak beside it was its newly discovered stellar partner. Betelgeuse, which means Hand of the Giant in Arabic, now officially has a companion, a star that a team of astronomers has proposed naming Sawara, meaning her bracelet. This poetic name honors the celestial object that now orbits Betelgeuse. Howell and his team analyzed the companion star's light, and found results that matched earlier predictions. Their study, published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, revealed that the companion star is six magnitudes fainter than Betelgeuse in optical wavelengths, has an estimated mass of about 1.5 times that of our Sun, and is a hot blue-white star orbiting the red giant at a distance approximately four times the distance between Earth and the Sun, a relatively close distance for binary stars. This means it exists within Betelgeuse's extended atmosphere. Interestingly, the team believes that this star hasn't yet begun burning hydrogen in its core, the hallmark of a star's main sequence phase. Consequently, the Betelgeuse system now contains two stars at opposite ends of their life cycles. Although they formed around the same time, the smaller star's delayed ignition doesn't guarantee it a long life. Scientists are certain Betelgeuse will eventually explode in a cataclysmic supernova, though the exact timing remains uncertain. Despite being only about 10 million years old, Betelgeuse, at 700 times the size of our Sun, has burned through its fuel far faster than our 4.6 billion year old star. This spells two grim potential fates for its companion. It may be pulled into Betelgeuse by gravity, resulting in a cannibalistic event within the next 10,000 years or Betelgeuse could explode first, disrupting the companion's orbit and accelerating its own end. Either way, the future looks bleak for Sawara. Still, astronomers continue their observations, and in November 2027, we will get another look at the stellar companion when it reaches maximum separation from Betelgeuse. The discovery of this faint star is remarkable, a true breakthrough in observational astronomy that confirms long-held suspicions and theories. It also adds an emotional dimension to our study of stars, as we begin to understand them not just as distant suns, but as systems with their own relationships, evolutions, and fates. Meanwhile, we're also anticipating another rare event, the eruption of T. Coroni Borealis, TCB. By 600 BCE, the pyramids of Giza had stood for over 2,000 years, witnessing humanity's rise. It was then that the Babylonians began turning their fascination with the stars into astronomical study. During this time, a star 2,600 light years away erupted in a massive explosion, an event whose light is only now reaching Earth. Imagine looking up and seeing a new, bright star that wasn't there before. This was the experience of Burchard, abbot of Erzberg, over 800 years ago, when he observed a faint star that temporarily shone brightly. That star was T. Coroni Borealis, a variable star in the constellation Corona Borealis, also known as the Northern Crown. A variable star appears to change brightness from Earth's perspective. TCB is 2,600 light-years away, 
so the events we observe now actually happened 2,600 years ago. Most stars in their prime are powered by nuclear fusion in their cores, but TCB has moved beyond that stage. It is now a white dwarf, a dense, Earth-sized stellar remnant of a once-massive star. But it's not alone. TCB is part of a rare binary system, gravitationally locked with a red giant companion. The white dwarf pulls material from the red giant, which sheds its outer layers as it nears the end of its life. This mass transfer is key to understanding TCB's behavior as a recurrent nova. Every 80 years, as the white dwarf gathers hydrogen from the red giant, a critical mass builds on its surface. Eventually, this triggers a thermonuclear runaway fusion event, causing a powerful nova explosion. When this occurs, TCB becomes 1,500 times brighter, visible to the naked eye. The last explosion happened in 1946, and now, as we approach another 80-year mark, the world awaits its return. During a nova, the explosion ejects material at high speed, creating a gas shell and temporarily turning the system into one of the brightest objects in the sky. Once the explosion fades, the white dwarf resumes pulling material, repeating the cycle. The confidence in an imminent eruption comes from TCB's behavior. Before the 1866 and 1946 eruptions, the star brightened for a decade, followed by a slight dip a year before each explosion. TCB entered this high state in 2015, and the dip was detected in March 2023, putting astronomers on high alert. Once the eruption begins, the peak brightness will last only a few hours, with the star dimming within a week. Amateur astronomers are likely to be the first to spot it and alert professionals. During its peak, the nova will be visible to the naked eye, although binoculars or a small telescope will provide a better view. While it won't rival the brightness of Venus or Sirius, the nova will be a rare and memorable sight, truly a once-in-a-lifetime cosmic event. And perhaps more than just a celestial show, it is a vivid reminder of the vast timescales and dynamic processes at play in our universe, constantly unfolding and waiting for our gaze. Hit that subscribe button, share your thoughts below, and let's keep exploring the together. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next.